Hi everyone, today I want to show you how you can import your custom external assets like trees, rocks, grass and things like that into True Terrain and then be able to use it out of True Terrain, scatter them on your landscape and use all the great scatter modifiers that we have available. So what I did here is, because all these things need a little bit of preparation, so what I did here is this tree here is from a collection of CGXs and this one is a tree out of the botanic, uh, the latest version collection. Both need different things to uh, care about. So let's start with the CGXs and why did I put um, I choose those trees because currently True Terrain does not provide us with um, winter snowed upon deciduous trees. So that would be, I thought, a good collection or addition to our collection in True Terrain. Okay, the first thing we see here is the dreaded pink, meaning um, maps are missing. So this is usually very easy to fix. We're going to um, Select both of these meshes, go to File, External Data, Find Missing Files, and then go where our maps live. We don't have to, you know, uh, select, <coughs> excuse me, select any of these, just the folder suffices. So click on Find Missing Files, and we have everything properly mapped. However, if we take a closer look, this looks like um, the snow is being made out of chrome. So what we need to take a look at is the shader in here and we can see, yeah, metallic does not fit a tree in winter. So let's get rid of that. The same, yeah, applies here. It's something that has to do with the specific mapping, the model, the collection. Just make sure you take a look at your shader before you import it, because otherwise you would have a chrome um, wood. So that's fine as it is, I think. Yeah, take a closer look. Yeah, okay, that's good. We're going then to collect both of these meshes and join them together. You can do so by going to object and join. You could right click and join or the shortcut control J. So let's do control J. And we have one mesh, which is, let's move it out of the way, actually ready to be imported now. With botanic, we have no, it's not uh, because the scale is not applied. Control A, apply the scale, and now it's ready. And the next thing we should check always is if the origin point or the point of gravity is actually where it should be because sometimes this yellow dot is here, here, here and we need to act manually change that. Botanic has always a perfect midpoint which is a little bit in the stem meaning it makes sure you can imagine if we have a flat ground it would be the green line in here so the tree would be actually pretty much planted, not just hovering or just barely on the ground, but be within the ground. And you know what? Just to show you, we're going to do the same thing here. So let's go back to this. We hit Edit, Control, uh, just A to select all, and then just slightly move this down like so and now we have this tree as well planted in the ground okay now now it's ready 
With this we have um, some other preparations to do. The first thing is the botanic um, allows us to have massive uh, amount of trees within a scene because we're appending, uh, we're linking them and not appending them. And we need to have a, a real or a physical or call it what you want, um, a local copy of any asset to be able to import it. So that's the first thing we're going to do. In our botanic um, add-on, um, we have the ability to convert to edit editable. That's the first thing we need to do. So doing that also for the first time gives us um, dimensions. The scale is already set properly. We don't need to do anything. Um, however, we need to make this data local. So again, we're clicking on the mesh, sorry, right click, ID data, make local. You won't see any difference, but it is important because otherwise it would not pull. And the last thing we need to do is make our, you can see there is just one material in here, which is the bark, Aeschylus, blah, 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 blah. And if we go to our shader editor in here, so you know that's the shader editor, you can see that the material has this chain symbol to it, and we need to get rid of this. And it's actually pretty easy to do so. It's by holding the shift key and clicking twice on this symbol. And that's and here as well. Uh, take a look in here. You know what? Let's do it everywhere we can find. But it seems that was that. Sounds good. Oh, looks good, sorry. And let's double check. We have our snowy trees, they're properly scaled, 1, 1, 11, almost 12 meters, 21 meters, and that's that. Okay, so we can um, select this one, we select this one. We move over to our preference section and look for our True Terrain Ultimate, it is here, we scroll down, go to Import Assets, and then we select Selected, because that's what we do. We want those two which we have selected. Now we call this T, T uh, I call it T for Tree, Snow 2, because I already have one collection with snowy trees in here, and now there is a uh, peculiarity which means we need to oh, let's go with this one yeah we need to we can go to custom and call this exactly the same way we called our asset but as I have done this before in preparation it's still in there so let's make sure we call this three and this one as well. It's actually with 500,000 faces. It's, it's, I call it high, but you can put anything you want in there. And there is nothing else we need to do, just create asset from selected. In a couple of minutes, it will do a very rough, non lightened icon rendering, which will be used. You will see it in a second. So we can go out of here, we can actually delete everything in here. Let's delete that, delete that, get rid of this collection, this one as well. So we have nothing in here. Now let's test, put a plane in here, scale it up by 200, apply the scale. Let's do K 
camera position like so and go over to true terrain go to our assets and we have t snow 3 and let's give it a try add and we've got it a little bit much but this is pretty great so what we're going to do first is to directly be able to work with that we're going to reduce that by two zeros just you know to work with it so like so i'm going to do another video on scattering and the modifiers today or tomorrow i hope you guys are interested in that so let's go with one to make it a little bit more dense and you can already see the object seed works the distribution works um, and I just have to add a quick modifier which is the camera modifier so we only have trees within our camera frame go back in here distribution something like this and let's see if the maps have been pulled as well and you know what it did so let's play with this make the shadows a little bit smaller like so move in a little bit like so I think that works brilliantly. So that's how you import assets. You can do this with other um, assets as well. Um, for example, what I did before is I created shrubs from all from uh, botanic, adding shrubs again put the camera mask in here and so forth and so forth and this makes it, it, it's a lot of fun and having those assets available within true terrain to actually have one add-on for your landscaping needs is pretty cool um, and that's that. I'm going to do another video on scattering and explaining the modifiers a little bit in more detail. But right now you know, um, if you have seen my previous video, how to create your custom materials and have them available in True Terrain. And now you can put your uh, custom um, trees and assets into True, uh, True Terrain as well. Okay, I hope there was something useful for you in there and see you the next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.